In this video I'm going to show you how to manually measure your tools and enter them into the registry. I've got four different tools that are in front of me here and each one of them has a different length and what we're going to be using is this tool height measuring stand. It can be used in several different ways. The very first thing that we need to do is make sure that it's cleaned out, that there's no debris on the inside of it. And we're going to take our first tool. We'll go ahead and use the left hand tool and call it tool number one. And then uh, each one of these tools will be subsequent order. We're going to go ahead and wipe off the taper, make sure it's clean. Now we can either enter that and measure it using a height gauge. But I'm not going to do that since I don't have a granite table. I'm going to use something a little different. What I've got here is a horizontal tool stand. And that tool stand is capable of measuring these tools uh, a lot easier uh, by holding the tool in place so that you can measure it. We'll go ahead and put the tool in. And we'll use the stand. Set it inside. Make sure that the slot itself is on the top back side just past this little raised area right here. And we could just use a little uh, set of cheap calipers for this, making sure that they're, that they're set at zero before we do. And what you want to do is open the calipers and place the neck of the calipers into the slot. And then when you hold the calipers against the tool height stand, make sure that you put pressure against the back side and the top side with the, your three fingers just like this and then all you just have to do is just simply move that and touch the outer cutting edge of the tool. So this tool is measuring uh, 4 inch 525. I'll go ahead and write that down. Show you how quickly this is done. We'll go ahead and take this tool out. We have our first tool. We'll go ahead and just apply that or put that into the into the uh, machine while we're at it. That's tool number one. We'll take tool number two as well, wiping off the taper just to make sure it's clean. Very, very simple to do. Also make sure that you're, that you're resting the calipers on the edge of the cutting the cutting tool uh, as well. Don't don't uh, uh, don't make the mistake of uh, falling in between the cutting edges. This tool measures four inch. Let's see if I can get the light a little bit. Four inch uh, six ninety four. Four inch six ninety four. That'll be tool number two. Tool number three is a ball mount. We've got five inch three thirty five. is a little roto zip tool. I thought it was kind of good for this example being long as it is. And this tool is 5 inch 675. And we'll place this last tool into this into the uh, now that we have our tool heights measured, we need to put those tool heights into our registry. And what you see in front of you is an additional page to the Mach 3 screen set that I've included so that we can set up the automatic tool changer, uh, the tools and the fixtures on one page. If you go to the bottom left hand corner, you'll notice you have a section for your tools and you can add your tools right here or you can go to the original page in the offsets page and enter them there as well. But this was included, uh, like most features that you used to set up, are included on one page so it'll make setting up your, uh, your program a lot easier. 
So we'll go up to the top uh, pink box in the tool section and click on it one time. Press 1 and enter and that will give us the ability to input the measurement for our height of tool 1. Go down to where it says height, click on the pink box next to it and uh, the height of tool number 1 was 4 inch 525. Make sure I press enter otherwise it won't accept that value. So now tool 1 has been entered into our registry. If you wanted to check the registry to make sure, just underneath that is a button for the tool table. Click on that and you'll notice that tool 1 has a height of five, uh, 4 inch 525. Let's go ahead and go back up to tool again. Click on it again. Press number 2 and that will give us the ability to put the measurement of tool number 2 in. And I'm going to apply the height of 4 inch 694. That was our measurement. Press enter. I'm going to go back up to the top again, press 3 for tool 3. Tool number 3 down in the height section is, is uh, 5 inch 335. Press enter again. Go back up to the top, press 4. And for the height of tool number 4 was 5 inch 675. Press enter. If I wanted to check those settings, I'd go to tool table button, press it, and you'll notice that all those settings have been applied.